so again we're in advanced steel 2017 and this is uh sort of one of the series i've been doing on the approval status or status levels within the advanced steel system for drawings and also in this case we're going to focus on the model elements so uh pre in the previous couple of videos you might have seen i've been looking at how to get it into the page header how the document control system can be used to add comments in for status for the actual status level and the actual comment here and that also applies in a general arrangement drawing as well by adding in the appropriate tokens so you have the status system uh, obviously within the document control system which can be applied here you can see the different colors here and obviously the status is here and you can see the list there as well so uh, in this particular case we did actually add in a uh, a different uh, status level under the object property editor in here so under here we added in one issued for fabrication and we set a color so I'm just going to close that a second so how does this work so for the drawings you can have a life cycle or work work status um, etc and the same thing can apply for a model so the model can be a different life cycle to the actual drawings uh, the drawings could have been issued but not actually updated to the current life cycle point uh, so they might have not been issued for fabrication or they might have been issued for fabrication and then the model probably needs you might want to mark in the model or indicate in the model what you've actually sent to the workshop so in this case I'm going to look at this uh, staircase flight here and I'm going to use a little tool here just to mark the main part of the assembly so I'm going to pick one of the stringers and this is indicated that this is the governing controlling part of this particular stair assembly so if I bring up its advanced steel properties and if I go to the tab here for fabrication data we can see that there's a, a field available with a drop down list in it and in here we can say see that it says issued for fabrication so this is a status level that I've added in via the management tool system so I could now issue this to fabrication now just by clicking that one element I can then sort of check the other elements and it will actually filter across into that it will filter across into these different elements within the system because this is a complete assembly it, it and actually it works like the lotting and phasing as well in advanced steel is that the governing part then controls what data is actually sent across to all the other subordinate elements so here I'm just going to click on the tread to show you the same thing so we can see that's gone across into the system now within the model that probably doesn't look that impressive okay so I've applied that but what you can do is you can use this to your advantage if you need to actually search for something in the model if someone comes and asks you so you can create a new query and when you go to do this you can start on the general tab here complete model new marking and you get an option down here that's sometimes used to uh, change the color of the marking by default marking is normally red in advanced steel but you can actually uh, change this to be a different color or in this case I've gone by approval status so here if I untick that it's not available if I tick it it's available it says by the approval status or status and then I would come into the object so in this case I'm going to look for elements that are relative to steelwork so the elements in here that I might consider to be part of the uh, fabrication or the fabricated element I'm also then going to go down into the fabrication data and I'm going to check the approval status box at the front here the list then becomes active and I'm going to go issued for fabrication I'm then going to save the query and then I'm going to execute it so now we can see that it highlighted that element within the model it marked it, it applied the color that we'd actually assigned to the status level 
So this way, and you can see it's a, it's appeared here under the Project Explorer, under the different, uh, here I've actually created it, and you can then obviously turn off the other elements in the model just to see the bits that have been issued to fabrication. You can obviously also uh, create folders uh, within the system. So I'm going to create a folder for that and then I could actually move that into that folder if I wished as well. So that then if I had a number of these I would be able to find them quite quickly. Obviously I can turn the model back on and obviously always remember to clear your marking. But the idea is that you can then use this to help you search the model to see what's actually been issued for fabrication. I mean you can do combinations as well. So say you had several different lots in a model, you could bring that into the query as well and apply that as well to the same. So applying the issued for fabrication and the lot status as well. So you can build up queries however you wish within the system. So hopefully that will give you some idea of how it's applied, how you can set the color. So the color is set obviously under the properties here and in this case the color is actually being dragged in by the approval status level which has actually been set inside the management tool system under here so I've gone into here under the object property editor here and I've gone into the status and I've actually created one and set a color now sometimes people also want to add in a standard comment as well so under this I will probably I've added one in here saying fabrication status okay into the system and just to quickly show that as well um, within the actual properties of advanced steel under the fabrication data tab you will see this approval comment level here so that can be added in as well so it's saying it's a fabricated fabrication status within the model so hopefully that gives you a bit of an outline into how to apply that from a model perspective in addition to the drawing system that works independently to the model. So they're two different systems but using the same tokens attribute system. So you can design your work in progress system, your life cycles, key stages, <coughs> however you wish to term it to work within advanced steel.